Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Seven and a Half Lessons About the Brain, a creation by Lisa Feldman Barrett. In Seven and a Half Lessons About the Brain, 20 to 20, the human brain is thoroughly explored, dispelling misconceptions. It clarifies the purpose of brains, their development, uniqueness, and their ability to anticipate your actions. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Lisa Feldman Barrett is a renowned scientist who has conducted innovative research on human emotions. She is the author of How Emotions Are Made and Astrophysics for People in a Hurry, both highly praised books. With seven key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplaint.net. To start, learn more about your brain to understand its functions better and how they can benefit you. The human brain did not evolve primarily for thinking. It originated from ancient underwater creatures, developed abilities like hunting and intricate movements, and evolved to efficiently regulate the body's resources to ensure optimal function and survival. The brain's primary function is to manage the body's needs, predicting energy requirements to pass on genes successfully. The text also mentions upcoming lessons that will explore more about the brain's functions. Key idea number one, the three brain theory is a concept that suggests humans have three distinct brains which impact our behavior and decision making. The theory has been debunked by neuroscientists who state that the brain functions as one cohesive unit rather than multiple separate brains. The text discusses the outdated idea of the brain being divided into three forces, basic instincts, emotions, and rational thought. It challenges the concept of the brain developing in distinct layers and highlights how Evolution reconfigures the brain instead. It emphasizes that complexity is not about adding but reconfiguring. The text also mentions that although vertebrate brains develop similarly, the timing varies across species. It argues against the triune brain theory, suggesting that humans have one integrated brain rather than three separate ones. It urges a revision of understanding human nature, rationality, responsibility, and essence. Key idea number two. The text seems to discuss the importance of networking within the brain to improve cognitive function and overall brain health. The brain is a vast and interconnected network of 128 billion neurons, efficiently and economically connected through 500 trillion connections. Its plasticity allows for adaptability throughout life, reshaping neural wiring based on experiences. Neurons can serve various functions depending on cognitive activities. Complexity in brain structure is not exclusive to humans, Different species exhibit intelligent behavior due to their uniquely complex brains, well-tuned to environmental demands. Key idea number three, the text discusses how the brain develops, emphasizing the importance of various factors like genetics, environment, and experiences in shaping brain development. It highlights the complex process involved in creating neural connections and how early experiences can impact long-term brain functionality and development. The text discusses the development of brain networks in young brains, emphasizing the intertwined nature of genetics and environment in shaping individuals. It highlights the impact of experiences, such as exposure to light and caregiver interactions, on brain development. The concept of neural plasticity, tuning and pruning are explained, underscoring the importance of early experiences in shaping brain complexity. Caregiver's role in providing supportive yet balanced interactions is crucial for healthy brain development in children. Neglect or inadequate care can lead to long-lasting detrimental effects on brain development as seen in examples from history. Overall, the text stresses the significance of nurturing environments for the optimal growth and development of young minds. K. Idea number 4. The brain continuously generates predictions. The brain relies on prediction to interpret sensory data and create meaning in experiences. Predictions allow the brain to guide actions, sometimes before conscious decisions are made, prioritizing survival over accuracy. 
Despite unconscious predictions influencing choices, intentional exposure to environments can provide a sense of free will. Key idea number five, continuous interaction with other people's minds is an ongoing aspect of human social behavior. The text discusses the intricate dance between individuals' brains, emphasizing how interactions with others shape our brain structure and functionality. It points out that human connections influence our well-being, with relationships impacting lifespan and work environments affecting performance. The power of language is highlighted, showing how words impact our biology. The text stresses the importance of recognizing the consequences of our words and actions, encouraging responsibility and nurturing interactions to positively impact those around us. Key idea number six, varying thoughts and perspectives are part of being human and are considered normal. The human brain can develop into diverse minds with various capacities and perspectives influenced by factors like culture and neurological conditions. The concept of a single, universal attribute for the human mind is challenged by differences in characteristics such as language abilities. Emotions play a crucial role in guiding human experiences, with mood serving as a consistent force impacting perceptions and behaviours. The brain's adaptability is highlighted in how it navigates cultural transitions and experiences across different domains. Key idea number seven. Human brains are argued to construct or manufacture reality through processes like perception, interpretation, and cognition. Our brains have the power to shape reality through perceptions influenced by beliefs. This reality creation is rooted in the brain's predictions and societal influences. The evolution of specific criteria like creativity, communication, copying, cooperation, and compression has led to the human brain's ability to craft a shared social reality. These capabilities allow for abstract thinking, flexible predictions, and the creation of social concepts beyond physical forms. Humans uniquely combine these abilities, elevating their societal experiences and realities to exceptional levels compared to other species. In conclusion, brains are designed for regulating body processes, not just thinking. They are networks of neurons that make predictions and are influenced by societal contexts. Brains are adaptable and connected to the environment and others. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.